Hi, Maria here. Welcome to my channel. Today I want to share with you the only three fragrances you need for spring, at least that I need. I am so obsessed with these three. It defies description and I have a fourth one for you because I'm obsessed with it too. Uh, yeah, but three for sure. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, before we get started, if you haven't subscribed, just go ahead and hit that button. Join the weird, wonderful family. It would be amazing to have you part of the community. If you already are a part of the weird and wonderful family, you know how awesome you are. Thank you so much. I so appreciate you guys. And let's get started. So seriously, these three fragrances, I, 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 I want to wear them all the time. I've got lots of fragrances that I want to wear all the time, but especially as the weather starts to heat up, finally the snow is completely melted. We have weather that is in the plus now. So I even wore bare feet. It's three degrees Celsius and I've got my bare feet because I froze, but I had my bare feet because I was sick of wearing boots and socks. Uh, it's been so many months. <laughs> So anyway, it's finally starting to warm up. The birds are singing, the sun is shining. And so I instantly start to gravitate lately towards a little bit of green, uh, a little bit fresh. Anyway, I'll share with you what, uh, what I'm talking about. The first one I wanna talk about is I Am Beautiful by Theodoro Calatini. Now, the cool thing about this fragrance is that although it's niche, I think it's $75 Canadian. So, and I think it's 45 euro. So they're really reasonably priced, uh, but they are considered niche. This is a cranberry fragrance. This is a fragrance you could wear all year round. I think of it for Christmas because of the cranberry but it is so fresh and amazing for the spring. So although this has cranberry, it's kind of a sweet slash tart. So a little bit of tartness, definitely, definitely get that cranberry. It's got patchouli, it's got rose, and it has amber. So basically it's kind of a sweeter cranberry, so almost like a cranberry sauce, but definitely you get that tart. It feels slightly green and it kind of reminds me of the same way that black currant kind of plays. Uh, so kind of that tannin, tart, sweet, tangy fruit. It's a little bit, kind of a little bit fresh, a little bit spicy, a little bit tart, a little bit green feeling somehow. But again, I think it's just that cranberry. The rose is just very subtle. The patchouli, it's there, but it just smells a little bit spicy to me, but it always does. This is very linear, but it lasts a really decent amount of time on the skin. So six, seven hours at least. So really enjoy this one. It's fresh, it's invigorating, it's uplifting. It's it's very simplistic, but sometimes you just want something that's bright and cheery, and this totally does it for me. So I love this for spring, I love it. Next fragrance that every woman should have, it's so, so fantastic for spring is Habibi by Bye Bozo. Now this is such a beautiful fragrance because of the green note that's in it. So it's this beautiful kind of watery green, smells fresh, it smells calming, it smells, uh, it, it, yeah, it just smells calming and grounded. Now, as well as that green note, it has cherry and almond, and I definitely get the cherry and almond in this. So it smells like the cherry and almond gives it kind of a sexy vibe, but the, the green keeps it really refreshing and sophisticated. Seriously, this could be a signature fragrance. It's so classy. I, I just, I think it's absolutely beautiful. It's something that you could wear to the office, shopping, special occasion, like really you can't go wrong with this. In fact, I think that this would even make a nice wedding fragrance. It's just absolutely beautiful. It's not sexy. So even though it's got the cherry and the almond, I wouldn't consider it a va va boom fragrance, but it's just somehow elegant, but addictive because of the cherry and the almond that definitely is present. This has musk, sandalwood, and currant leaf in it as well. The currant leaf probably adds to the green. I don't really get a whole lot of musk from it or woodiness. 
it's mainly the cherry, the almond, and that green, and it's absolutely stellar. Fantastic fragrance. Lasts, again, like a good six, seven hours on the skin. Smells so, so sophisticated. One of the best fragrances I have in my collection, honestly. Actually, all of these are, are right up there with the best. So this one, definitely all you need for spring. This, if, if I could only pick one for spring, this would be it for sure. Now, the other one that I have talked up tons, but I just, I literally can't get enough of it. And as far as spring is concerned, this is all I need is mallow. So this is by Soradora. It's raspberry, it's violets. This one also, because of the violet, smells a little bit green to me. Interestingly, this has almond and heliotrope in it. So that could give it a little bit of a cherry feel, but what I actually am getting is that raspberry and the violet, and the violets smell candied, although I've never smelled candied violets. This smells like a candied violet. I love the violet in here. I'm addicted to the violet in here, and I never thought that I would say that. So this one is so, so amazing for spring. I just can't even get over how much I love this one. Lasts again six to eight hours on the skin, projects nicely. I don't ever find that it gets really musky on me. I just really notice kind of that marshmallowy violet and I'm addicted to it. So all three of these have a bit of a, a kind of almost a tart, bright fruit. So this one has raspberry, this one has cherry, this one has cranberry, paired with something that's a little bit green. So this has the patchouli, this has a green note. This one has the violet that comes across slightly green to me. Uh, this one is definitely the sweetest out of them all, but they're all somehow invigorating, happy, wonderful fragrances that I just literally, like, honestly, amazing. Like, if you've got these three, you are going to smell so freaking amazing all spring. I can't even tell you. Now, there is one more that's an honorable mention. It's hard to get your hands on. I'm not going to link this one. Everything else will be linked down below. Not going to link this one because it's hard to find. You'd have to kind of do your research, but it's another green fragrance that is so perfect for spring and it's Flora Botanica by Balenciaga. Balenciaga put out an, an extremely disgusting uh, advertisement about a year and some ago, maybe two years ago now. Uh, it, was, it was really gross. I don't like anything from Balenciaga. I don't like their clothes. I don't like their image or whatever, but I do love this fragrance. And I'm not gonna throw it away just because the company was an idiot. Uh, they made something good. <laughs> I'm going to celebrate that because seriously, this is fantastic. This is one of the best rose fragrances that is out there, in my opinion. So what makes this so amazing is actually mint and cannabis. And to me, it comes across as fresh long clippings. So it'd be as if someone's cut the grass and it's early in the morning, there's still dew in the air, and you go and you smell a, a rose that has dew on it, and you get the lawn clippings and the rose smell. That's what this get, gives me. This lasts like 12 hours on the skin. The rose slowly starts to become a slightly powdery, but the green never disappears. So it starts off really green, really minty, really beautiful. I just, I, it's so spectacular. I would get, actually consider this a masterpiece. I've never smelled anything like it. So it's so, so gorgeous, but it smells uh, like lawn somehow or mintiness with the rose and then the rose starts opening up a little bit more throughout the day. And then it becomes more of a rose scent with a, a slight green undertone such a beautiful fresh young rose that's green uh, that has green components it's absolutely spectacular for spring and the longevity on this is like 10 or more hours so fantastic performance on this one so i wanted to mention it especially for those of you that do have it like you have one of the best fragrances for spring there is that said uh because of everything that's gone on i won't link it but if you want to look for it it's definitely worth having for sure. And that is it. That's the only three plus one 
that a person really would need for the spring. They are all gorgeous, refreshing. They make me think of walking in the spring air with the birds singing and the blossoms blossoming and just, they're just beautiful fragrances. But all of them have a little hint of to me green like but it, not super green like because I'm not huge on like green leafy things except for flora botanica but just a hint of green that just c keeps it kind of fresh without getting into the citrus end of things so lovely lovely fragrances for spring what about you what are your three top picks for spring that every woman needs leave them in the comments and other than that I hope you have an amazing week and we'll talk to you soon